If your implant is inserted only halfway, if your implant is inserted only up to here into the bone and already you have reached 80 newtons of torque, obviously you need to remove this implant and do more drilling. But if your implant has reached up to here, 80 90 percent is inserted and you reach 80 newtons of torque, just by doing out two turns and in four times, it will go in. Okay? But if for some reason you are still facing resistance, means it is going out to and in also only two times it is still better to remove this implant do a little bit of the crystal drill and then place the implant in okay we don't want to fight with the implant and we don't want to fight with the bone this is a 3.5 diameter implant where the shaft is two millimeters and that is why this pilot drill which is two millimeters needs to perforate the opposing cortex because we need the shaft to engage into the opposing cortex. By engage, I don't mean we have to go a lot. Just the tip must go in and even 0.5 millimeter can come across it. Okay, even you can have the implant going 0.5 mm across it. But our objective is to engage the tip into the cortical bone. Okay, so that is what really will give you the high primary stability. My recommendation always is, is do one drill less, one drill diameter less. Start to insert the implant. If you are facing very high insertion torques, you can always take it out and do a little bit in the crestal area. But if you over drill and you get lesser torque, then besides taking a larger diameter implant, there's nothing else you can do.